Welcome back to it. It is still the morning rush right here on ZTN Prime. Now on Wednesdays, we have Woman Crush Wednesday. And this morning, I am speaking to the queen of gospel music. Her name is Janet Manyoma. Good morning. Good morning, Erica. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Looking so beautiful. You thank think you. at 7.30, you're still getting <laughs> your life together and everything. Well, basa mangwanan. Now, you will also <laughs> forgive me. She is an all-time accolade taker. Now, the recent one is her landing on the Star FM Gospel Great Top 50 as number one with Maudze. Can I say congratulations for that one? Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, taking up accolades, uh, you've been doing this uh, for mm -hmm. a whole while, uh, giving us, you know, hit after hit. Mm -hmm. And I was mentioning earlier that if there's something I love about your art entirely, it mm -hmm. is the visuals. You do Thank them you. with par excellence. Thank you. Now, talk to us about the feeling of landing yourself in a brand new year with a taker as number one on the gospel greats mm -hmm. top 15 i'll say it for myself it is the biggest chart in the country yeah, yeah. and then also with Arnold also just setting yeah, you off chart yeah. how, how are you feeling right now definitely overwhelmed um i'm still to get into 2023 properly um well i did get into 2023 but mm. absorbing everything um um, very excited about the win with Vaudze. Um It was Anut uh, just a few days ago, and we're still resting and absorbing everything. But um, when all is said and done, I'm so grateful to God for just the opportunity and just the time that I have to do what I have the best way I can. So, yeah. Um, Anut is a night of Thanksgiving. Now, mm. we're going to have to ask how you came up with it. Mm -hmm. I, I am reliably informed that it has been taking place for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this year, I would say, for now, it is the bang. I'm looking forward to next mm -hmm. year. But talk to us about Anut. How did it come about? How are people <laughs> receiving it from your end? Mm -hmm. uh, we started Anut 2017. Um, it was just meant to be a small night with uh, a few of our friends. Uh, we would thank God for what he had done. I'd also received a lot of accolades in that year. And um, it, it then grew from one one year to the next. Of course, we were distracted uh, by COVID. Mm -hmm. But last year was then quite big. Uh, we held it at the HICC. Um, but having it this year again was... It's all about gratitude. It's all about ending the year, which was 2022 in this case, with... Um, with gratitude and starting the year right in praise and worship and just giving thanks to God that we have another year to make things right. I say yeah. this from a viewer's perspective, from a viewer's point, mm. watching Anut, especially when the clips came through on social media, yeah. I must just say it was electricity. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I, I love this question, especially when I talk to people in your art. Mm -hmm. Your songs always send out a message. It could be speaking to the heart, to the soul, or joyous in some cases. Mm -hmm. But I must ask you, of all your songs, which one is your favorite? Maybe also explain to us why mm -hmm. it could be in the writing. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I guess When you I'll... sit down and you think, <laughs> <laughs> with the stuff I've let out, which yeah. one would you, if you were to hand someone a CD, or if you were to hand someone a track, which one would it be? They all come from the heart. They all have different seasons. Mm. I think my songs to me also have seasons. And But if I were to pick one, maybe let me say Ndimi. Ndimi is my song because it really um, speaks of God the way I see him. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we're looking at, um, I'll keep referring to Anit because it's the biggest that you've given us for 2023. Yeah, yeah. Now you had uh, Dr. Tumi yeah, uh, come yeah, through, Pastor, yeah. uh, Minister Michael Mayendele was yeah, also there. Yeah. Talk to us about what you think about when you're looking at who's going to come on stage and perhaps what they give to Anot itself mm -hmm. or maybe the performance that you're looking forward to. Um, for me, most of these um, invites and guests are, are based on relationships. So it's more mm. of someone I've been relating with. Um, we've related with Dr. Tumi. It's not the first time we've been ministering together. Um, Minister Minded, we're always <laughs> singing together at different platforms. And uh, for Carol and Sharon, it was also my sisters in the industry that I. it's easier to work with people you are friends with and yeah. family with. So that's how it comes but it's also about um, having the same values, having the same vision. And when you speak to someone you know, at least they, they, they are sharing the burden that I'm having in the same season. So that's really where it comes, where it comes from. We, we yeah. did manage to catch up with Minister Mayendele yesterday. Yeah. And something I took yeah. from what he said was, yeah. 
when you're ministering through music, there is a different delivery that comes with that. Now, do you also experience the same thing, a connection with the crowd, perhaps when you're singing? And would also like to know what you do just before you get on stage. Um, it's... It varies. Mm -hmm. It varies. Um, most of the times you're trying to relay the message that you're feeling in that moment. Um, you're feeling led by the Holy Spirit, so we may say. Um, so it's, it's, it's really trying to download, trying to hear and to receive from yeah. the people at the same time. Um, and your second part of the question was... Before you get on stage. I, I ask get on this stage, because yeah. um, I did manage to catch up with, with a glimpse of uh, the, the, the behind the scenes yeah, yesterday. Yeah. And um, I just noticed you almost looked like you were in different moods. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought to myself, mm -hmm. perhaps could this be a prayer in the heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wanted to know, what, yeah. do you, what do you do just before you get on stage? For, for me, um, just before I go on set, it's a repentance time. A repentance time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a repentance time. It's a, oh God, please help me. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a really, I need help stage fright? right now. Stage fright? Do you ever get stage fright? It's a tummy rumbling moment. <laughs> it's stage fright. It's... It's a whole lot of mixed emotion. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of being overwhelmed. Oh, I didn't expect so many people. But um, for me, it's a time of surrender and really repentance. And uh, Lord, in this moment, mm -hmm. please, can you just take over kind of thing. And so I just take time to breathe. I, I try to take away any distraction just in that moment before we step on and go. But it also depends, like for our second set at Arnott, it was a joyful time. Yeah. I was yeah. almost like, let's get ready to praise the Lord more. Yeah. Um, I also watched the switch bef uh, between the outfits and everything. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I kept asking myself is how does she do that? Then I go <laughs> and I do my research and I find out you were an accountant. Yeah. A wife yeah. and a whole musician of note. How do you manage to keep this conform <laughs> composed? I don't know, man. It's it's just managing to compartmentalize my life. So uh, when I'm doing mommy stuff, I do it to the best of my ability. When we are um, doing accounting stuff, I just take off all other heads and concentrate on that. So trying to not let those aspects of my life interlink yeah. in the point that I'm working on a particular thing. I think it helps me focus because mm -hmm. um, no no child wants an accounting mother, yeah. no accountant, yeah. no, no employer wants a singer mm -hmm. <laughs> in, their, in their space. So yeah, just being able to say, okay, which Group. hat are we wearing now has helped me to just focus on what I'm doing. At that point. Speaking yeah. of the hats that you're wearing, I will, I will tell you, we've been mm. talking about you since six in okay. the morning, okay? okay? Mm. And we took it from the headline, Queen of Gospel Music. Oh, wow. So it was quite a woo here in studio oh, wow. where we were talking about the title. Now, you've been given this title by your fans. How oh, do you wow. feel about it? Wow, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hearing it uh, maybe for a few. I've heard the it for first, a few more times. Yeah. Uh, heard it do you, okay. Do you do you wear the crown? Do you do you sit there and sometimes mm. in your introduction you say hi? My no. name is Janet, the Queen of Gospel no, no, Music. No, no. I, I would never introduce myself that way. I think it's. It can be a distraction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can, yeah, I can it imagine can be a distraction. that. I think it's for also. For me, I'm just Janet, uh, mm -hmm. one who loves God and who's ready to serve in music. Yeah. I like that, absolutely. Yeah. But I think it's also just rightfully uh, so that we, uh, we ask you to then maybe say something back to your fans who have given you the title queen. Mm -hmm. If you were to bump into someone and they're screaming, Janet, my queen mm -hmm. of gospel, what would you say to them? Or maybe just want to say back to them. Oh, wow. I would, um, as the year starts, it's still just an abundance of gratitude. Um, I'm grateful. You know, winning um, the Styrofoam Gospel uh, Song of the Year is really votes. Um, sometimes we all get it wrong, but it's really about your votes. It's not about how great the song was or about how great I might be, but it's about how you have voted for the music, how you have encouraged me, prayed for me. Uh, you know, I get a lot of DMs, Erica, of people who are just saying, Janet, you really helped me in one to three ways. And when all is said and done and I hear such encouraging words, it really helps me go on. It really encourages me to seek the Lord more, to get more music, to download more music from the Lord. So thank you so much. My words would be thank you, thank you, thank you. I can never say it enough. And may the Lord um, deal with you kindly as you have dealt with me. 
I love that. May the Lord deal with you kindly. It is words that we definitely need to hear early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now, we witnessed you be on stage and flourish on stage mm -hmm. with different artists. Now, we're going to ask, please talk to us about the collabs you've had, perhaps even looking at 2023 being a year that I believe is going to just be a year of magic. Yeah. Now, what collabs we should look forward to and how it feels like for you to actually mm -hmm. uh, collaborate with different artists. It's always an honor. Um, the Bible says two are better than one. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't take it lightly. I don't take collaborations lightly at all because for me it is um, uniting with someone and feeding off and them feeding off. Um, so I don't take collaborations lightly. That's why I don't have many of them. Mm. But I have uh, had the privilege of collaborating with um, Minister Michael, uh, Take Sure, um, my Suluma, Ngobe Kombata, ah, yeah, Comfort Manyami. It's, it's been a great journey. But uh, I'm looking forward to more collaborations in, mm. in this coming year, um, especially with unheard voices, mm. so that I can also rub off from them and they rub off from me. And um, I don't want to empty out too much, but I'm sure there are going to be great and many collaborations coming in the coming two years. You mentioned that you mm. don't take it lightly when mm. you are choosing people to collaborate with. Now, mm. um, I'm no musician myself, but mm. I'm quite acquired with what happens in the industry. Mm. And it's almost like a relationship. You choose who to yeah. get into a yeah. relationship yeah. with. Yeah. Now, I must ask, how do you choose who to collaborate with? For me, the song takes precedence. Mm. So it's not about names. It's about the, the song taking center stage. So. Um, for example, Muchene, for me, I could just hear Take Shows cry. Yes, yes, yes. And bringing <laughs> so the flavor, yeah. Bringing the flavor that the song needed. So sometimes it's, um, I believe that songs are greater than the people that sing yeah. them. So we, we shouldn't then be slave to names, but we should be slave to the song and go where the song needs us to go. So that is what informs really my, my collaborations and... Um, just being able to sing with someone I relate with. It's yeah. very important to know their heart. You know, I, I believe when I sing with you and then tomorrow you are, you have a certain agenda you're promoting. <laughs> yeah, I then yeah. look like I, I am also. You. I can yeah. imagine, I can imagine. So that is very difficult. And you know, you can't tell what uh, Erica is going to be advocating for tomorrow, you know, so it's I, a I like that you've touched yeah. on that. I must ask. Apart from the collabs, the music, do you also carefully pick who you associate yourself with? Because you can be sitting with Erica today and then yeah. Mawana, yeah. Jamba, my speaker somewhere, and it's, yeah. it's so opposite your brand and yeah. what you're trying to push yeah. against the narrative. Mm -hmm. So do you find it difficult sometimes, even away from music, what I can't go to these places because can mix yes. catch? Yes, it's, it's more about who I represent and how I want to represent who I represent. So... Um, I believe in being with everybody, talking to everybody. Jesus spoke to everybody. Yes, he, yeah. he didn't. He was not selective. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can choose who I then let influence my space. That's so I, I I do associate with everyone. I don't have anyone I can say I can't have a conversation with. Nobody. But I. I'm very particular about why I let influence my space. Now, as a quick one, I'm going to ask you to give us 2023 in, I don't know, words or sentence, so that when we remember you for 2023, mm -hmm. we're like, yeah, but she did say this. How, how do you want us to move with you in 2023? Oh, so I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm absorbing everything to now get into my resolution time mm -hmm. for 2023. But um, I, I, I can tell you, 2023 for me is a year of clarity and rest. So we move with clarity I'm, and rest. I'm looking for clarity and rest in 2023. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. We're going to take it that one that way. Clarity and rest was talking here to uh, Janet Banyoma. She is the gospel queen dubbed by her fans that way. Uh, talking to us right here on The Morning Rush. <laughs>